hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be solving code forces round 898 to 4 problem c okay so pause the video read the question then i'll explain okay so question is saying that we have a 10 cross 10 target that is made out of five rings as shown in the figure five rings as in this the outer boxes are one ring then inner boxes like whatever the colors you are seeing that like this white one is one ring then again this black box is another ring then similarly this white and then this black one now what it is saying that the outer each ring has its value so the outer ring has value one then inner ring has value two then then value three similarly value four and five okay so what we need to do is now Valad fire several arrows at the target so basically this is a target board and Valad fired several arrows at the target. Now we have to determine how many points he would get. Okay. So if he hit in this first ring, then he'll get one point. If he hit in the second ring, he'll get second point. Similarly, in third, he'll get three points, four, four, four points, and fifth, therefore five points. Okay. So basically, we have given the position 10 cross 10, like where he has hit. Now we'll have to calculate how many points he'll get. Okay, the question is very simple. So basically, what question it's saying is, what question is saying is, let's say consider this as a rings. Okay. So, and ring. So let's say this is one point, or this is five points, this is four points, this is three points, this is two points, and this is one point. So if Valar sort it to this, he will get one point. In this, he will get two points. He hit in this then he gets three points similarly four and five now instead of circular that we used to see like right circular everywhere but now here we have this rectangle uh, square now basically so the rings are in this shape now let's say okay so this is five this is four this is three this is two and one now now let's say if you will see that if we will consider this one okay this outer ring okay if we'll consider this outer ring only i will change the color of the pen so that it goes away so what i'm saying that if we are considering this outer ring only okay then what you can notice is that from the boundary at least from one of the boundary either this left boundary or this top boundary or this right boundary or this bottom boundary at least from one boundary the distance would be one one in the sense case if this is the one if you are taking it as n and this is zero or let's say it the distance will be zero like the boundary will be touching this one this line the outer line okay so let's say the distance will be called zero okay so distance is zero similarly like for any points here okay similarly if we we'll see if you will see for this second point okay the any point any cell in this in the second ring any cell at least at least there will be one point at least there will be one boundary from where it distance will be one like for this this one boundary because this distance is quite too much here so similarly it has bigger distance there as this and this as well but from this it has only distance of one so like if we'll number this rows as zero like this is the zero rows this is the first row second row third row okay similarly we can go on similarly for the columns if this is the zeroth column this is first column this is second column third column so what we can say that if it is in the first ring then the distance from one of the boundary one of the boundary in the sense either it's the top one or this one similarly this one or let's say at the bottom one fourth of the boundary the distance will be zero so if we we'll consider any cell let's say let's say if we consider this cell okay if we are considering this cell then distance of this cell from this top boundary is zero okay 
okay but uh, yeah and from this if this is a 10 cell we can count this distance as 10 okay so here it will be 9 only now because now we have started the number from 0 so it will be 9 so distance will be 9 okay so what we have to calculate is if it is the outer ring then it must be close to one of the mountains similarly if it is in the second ring then at max from one of the boundary the minimum distance will be equals to one okay okay similarly for three what we can realize that the distance from one of the boundary will be equals to two so what we can say that if if we are at cell ij then we can what we can do is we can calculate the distance from for i there will be two boundaries one at zero and one at n minus one so either we can have i minus zero or n minus one minus i okay these are the distances between the boundary and the current cell okay similarly for this j for this j one distance can be j minus zero and another can be m minus one minus j m is the number of columns now this is the basically a distance and we know that the point is basically plus one like if this is the outer ring then the point we get is one but the distance will be zero from the boundary similarly so what we can do is for any ij we know that the minimum of this okay the minimum of what i comma n minus one minus i comma j comma m minus one minus j plus one this will be the point you will get if he shot in i comma j cell okay i hope this would be clear now from here the, there's a simple implementation that we will take the input okay we will mark answer as r0 okay initially and then we will run a loop 10 cross 10 because in the 10 cross 10 grid only we know where he has hit we will take the input if it's x that means he has fired that arrow at that position else if it's a dot then we don't need to do anything so if it's an x what we can do we can simply add to the our answer what the minimum of what we have so here the number of rows and columns can be at max 9 sorry 10 so n minus 1 will be 9 and m minus 1 will also be 9 and finally we can add 1 plus okay and finally once we calculate our answer we can just print it i hope this would have been clear to you if you have any doubt do ask in the comment section thank you